are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 24th of September. I'm James Spann. Wet is the word today. Maybe a few strong storms this afternoon. And then another shot of cool air blows in here toward the middle of next week. Let's talk about things. Very active day today. We have the ghost of Tropical Storm Beta. That trough coming in from the west, helping to provide a lot of lift and accordingly, it's pretty wet early this morning. That was the radar composite at 442. Rain was widespread across the northern half of the state. And it's a cool rain. We have 50s for Cullman, Aniana, Gadsden, Haleyville, 60s elsewhere. Temperatures will not go past the mid-70s in most spots today for the northern half of the state. Flash flood watch posted for the Tennessee Valley today, including Cullman County. That's where some spots could receive over two inches of rain. And we have kind of a low-end marginal risk of severe storms for parts of Alabama and some of the adjacent states. That level one out of five marginal risk is up south of a line from near Utah to Hoover to Roanoke, areas in darker green. Now, there could be a few stronger storms there this afternoon with gusty winds and maybe, maybe a brief isolated tornado. We'll talk about uh, this in detail in just a second. And then tomorrow, the risk moves on to the east for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. Also a marginal risk way up north. And day three, Saturday, no severe weather expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Again, the Pacific Northwest is quite wet for Alabama. The bulk of this will be today. Uh, rain amounts there could exceed two inches for the Tennessee Valley. Generally one inch or less for the rest of the state. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run at 4 o'clock today. Trough coming through. Cloudy with rain around today. Let's talk about the severe weather possibilities. Uh, the first thing we need is instability, and this is what it's looking like at 6 o'clock this evening. And you can see the instability axis about as far north as Chilton and Coosa counties. The better instability south of U.S. 80 over the southern part of the state. And then in terms of shear, storm relative helicity, the bigger values over east and north Alabama at that point. And again, there might be a little sweet spot where there could be a, a decent combination of the two across either central or south Alabama for a few isolated uh, brief tornadoes. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter, at 6 o'clock. And you can see numbers uh, come up through uh, Chilton, Autauga counties, and south, down through southeast Alabama. So just be weather aware today. The chance of flooding for the north and maybe a few severe storms for the central and southern counties. Now, tomorrow, the trough moves on, so uh, while it's going to be awfully muggy uh, and a lot of clouds around, probably not much rain, uh, probably nothing more than isolated showers. The high should be around 80. I think we'll be in pretty good shape for the high school football games tomorrow night, just, again, isolated showers. And Saturday looks pretty dry. A warm day, partly to mostly sunny, mid-80s, the chance of a shower Small, so weather looks good for the Auburn-Kentucky football game. That's an 11 o'clock kickoff at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Now, Alabama plays Saturday evening at 6 o'clock up at Columbia, Missouri, and they should be fine. Weather up there looks dry. But Sunday, the moisture surges back, so we'll bring back the chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. And again, warm, humid, highs in the middle 80s. And pretty much the same thing on Monday. we got a front coming in here. I should be around 80, the chance of a few scattered showers, probably nothing too widespread. And then Tuesday, we get into drier air. Uh, the high, not the really cool air yet. The high would be around 80. The low would be in the 50s. And then Wednesday, a secondary shot of cooler air comes in. Highs dropping in the low 70s. And this is a week from today. Look at the big trough. Thursday, the 1st of October. Ridge in the west, trough in the east. And again, that's very cool. And we might stay in the 60s all day and lows in the 40s toward the end of next week. These are the anomalies, and you see all the shades of purple and green. That's temperatures 10 to 20 degrees below average for the eastern half of the country. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, October 3rd. Still the basic idea in place with the western ridge eastern trough, and that looks dry and very pleasant. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about uh, 2 inches, and again, a lot of that's going to be today. Highs creeping up into the 80s for the weekend, but then notice 
60s and 40s out there at the end of next week. And this is for Birmingham. Uh, We might see a few folks up in uh, North Alabama trying to get in the upper 30s for the first time this season. And boy, look at the shades of blue here. This is October 1st through October 7th. Temperatures well below average, and just maybe we might see a frosty morning out there in early October if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.